I have a fighting spirit. I guess I have ancestors that was warriors or something because it's just in my DNA. I mean, I care because I've never had a father growing up. Me not having that, I always vowed to break the chains and to never put my sons through that situation. I just feel I just feel much better when he's the one coaching me in my corner and not you know other people. He's the one who puts got us into boxing. He's the one who helped us grow up and to stay out of the streets. Boxing have done a lot of stuff for, for my for our family. Uh, me and Musa just came back from the Silver Glove Nationals. We're, we're sponsored now from Title Boxing. You know, you can fight for a job, you can fight for your life, you can fight for something that you believe in. And I believe in, if you don't stand for something, you're liable to fall for anything. We don't do no talking like a pantomime. If you ain't running with us, you can stand in line. I mean, I ain't got a stun, I can't handle mine. I'm like, yes indeed, you can tell them rest in peace, cuz. We don't do no talking like a pantomime. If you ain't running with us, you can stand in line. I mean, I ain't got a stun, I can't handle Yes indeed, you can tell them rest in peace, cuz. It's a, it's, a, it's a struggle, because all they want to do is get on the games, but you got to keep a balance, you know what I'm saying, because I don't want to push them too much where they get tired. Is that his first time ever getting knocked down? No, he got knocked down from uh, After all, he got Joe back Frazier. to his feet. His corner man cut his gloves open on purpose. Come on, hurry up, Musa. Keep going. When we grew up, we lived over there by Old Town Mall, um, Lafayette Projects. They don't know what it's like growing up, seeing, you know, drugs and stuff on the floor, you know, the needles and stuff. You know, I've never really had that uh, problem with growing up in the city, even though I could have. I just chose to take another way out. And that's why, you know, I give a shout out to all of the boxing gyms in Baltimore, because at least they're providing a safe haven for the kids, other than hanging out on the streets. Even sometimes when they need to do their homework, you know, the coaches in there, you know, they'll help them. When we travel, like, to Kansas City and all that, and we're absent for a couple of days, you have to get all the makeup work you miss. And then, like, it's hard seeing my grade just drop like that because it was just at an A, and now it's at an E. But it's hard, though. It's hard to do, do boxing and school at the same time because I have to make sure my school grades are good because you already know if my grades are bad, I can't really do boxing, like, turn pro and all that. So school is very important. But boxing is very important to me too. For Muhammad, Muhammad, he made the honor roll twice, back to back. That was very impressive. Um, he did it by himself. We just came from the Nationals. You don't have no missed grades, no missed class. Nope, it's done. Wow. And then he's getting, then he get his report card. A A A A B B B B. Seven A's, three B's. Wow. Cause we're the type of family who doesn't quit at all. We never give up, and we just always try our best to be successful. Having an older brother is a good thing because he pushes you and um, gives you the advantages. Because like, if I spar with my older brother, his, you already know his punch is going to hurt because he's older than me. So if I keep sparring with him, and you already know that when I fight people my age and my weight, I can handle them because I'm, I'm sparring my older brother. Their punch is going to feel like pinches. When I'm training by myself, I feel, sometimes I think, man, where's Musa and Muhammad? I wish they was over here training with me. Like, when I travel to, like, go fight by myself, I don't feel comfortable because I'm, I feel like I'm missing something. And then, like, when I don't have my father with me, I feel like I'm missing something because I'm not used to it. And when I'm training with my brothers and stuff, sometimes I be seeing them slacking off, so I, you know, sometimes I go over there, smack them, You know, children, they grow, you know, and you don't really get that much time after they reach 16, 17, they don't, they're grown men after that. And then you wondering, wow, where did, all, where did all the time go? So I get to spend all this quality time with my children, take them out to these boxing events, tournaments, and it's not that I'm just spending time with another person's child. I'm spending time with my own.
Not having a father just taught me so much to not be like. So I'm being exactly not like my pops. And I'm making my pops be better because through him, I've learned. So I really didn't lose anything from not having a father. I've really truly gained. When I'm in the ring, uh, or this, um, I just, I just think about just winning, and and so when we respond, I just think, I, I just think about working on my stuff, working on, working on the things I need to work on in order to get me better. I see myself becoming a pro boxer, like becoming real famous, like Floyd Mayweather, making money so I can help my family. I, I see myself having a, a huge, a huge future. Like all of my brothers boxing, that's a huge thing. Having four brothers all in the ring, boxing, really exciting. As a father, it feels good because it makes me feel like that all this hard work sacrificing is paying off. Um, because I'm a father first, you know, and then a coach. Sometimes fathers can get very emotional and that attachment is hard to separate from a father to a coach. Because sometimes I'll be like throwing in a chair in the ring. That'll get me escorted out and probably banned from boxing, you know? So I got to balance and be like, you know what? All right, son, you know, we just got to keep on going at it, going at it, going at it, not give up. Boxing keeps our mind off of stuff that we're not supposed to have our mind on. You got a girlfriend? Uh-uh. First, first of all, we're too, I don't, we're young and we don't have to deal with that at this age. And second of all, it's going to take my focus off school and boxing. But to me, the best opportunity is to create that opportunity. So I created my opportunity by making my basement the boxing gym, you know, for my sons. You born alone, you in the ring alone, you get knocked down, you gotta G up.